Steven here, Steven Mark here, back with another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the NECA Godzilla 2019 Burning Goji. So as always, we usually start with the pros, and I think the first thing that should always go in with the pros is the first thing that makes it stand out. Uh, and personally, the first thing that makes th this figure stands out for me is the paint job. Yes, the paint job is quite, I mean, I personally love it. Um, it is just extremely, uh, I don't know, and just almost all standards possible. It is incredible. Uh, you really have that booming color, and it's not like it's a glowing color because, you know, this thing can't really glow or anything, but the orange just stands out in such a beautiful uh, and my artistic way. Um, and then, of course, you have the black and brown shades all over the body outside the spikes i mean this figure the paint job is really phenomenal i really like how towards the front of the body it was like pretty much just a red color and here it was kind of like a crispy black color uh, meanwhile the spikes here are just plain orange um with it being even uh, uh darker orange up here but of course the main spikes are like light orange color um but of course you get the same similar color um, but overall, I really feel like it's, uh, it really is a cool figure with the paint job. The paint job is just phenomenal. It's easily the best thing about it. There's also no scuffs either, uh, but of course we know the deal with figures. They'll probably get scuffs once you have them for so long. Um, but like I said, this is just a beautiful figure with the paint job. They did a really good job. So let's go on to the next thing. So the next thing is the detail. Now the detail is the next best thing I like about this figure. It's in my opinion slightly above average, but what I really feel like that makes it save the day is because uh, the details include the scales, of course, all over the body. And a lot of NECA figures do this with Godzilla figures and even other types of figures too, but really with Godzilla they do a good job, especially the Kata merchandise. But as you can see, you have the scales here. Uh, you didn't really have ones that were that noticeable with the Atomic Blast NECA, which I also have. Um, but with this, the scales are more noticeable here on the shin and on the legs and here, and but not really in the front. The front's kind of like smooth color. Um, the head also doesn't really have any scales. It's, like I said, it's mainly here uh, towards the spikes, but not exactly on the spikes. Um, and yeah, with the tail, there isn't really much there. It's, like I said, really around the thighs, the legs, and this part of the waist, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the next thing. So the next thing is articulation. Now, similar to how I reviewed the Planet of the Apes uh, NECA Soldier Ape, the articulation is just solid. Now, you're going to ask again, why if it's a NECA? And I'll respond. It's because this also ne this NECA also doesn't really have any other uh, articulation that stands out. Most NECAs have that one piece of articulation, and you're like, oh, it moves. This doesn't really have that. It's just a solid articulation for a NECA. The arms move like any other NECA would. The head moves. I guess I do like how the waist seems like it's, I guess, more movable, I guess. You could kind of do some cool shots with that if you're not like that. Um, but it is a little bit too stiff, so that, in a way, counts as a pro and a con. But I'll get to that later. Um, but, yeah, the articulation is pretty, uh, you know, there's nothing really that special about it. You have the tail that moves, the legs. Um, but it's really, you know, uh, overall, it's, it's just a solid articulation. And I do even have some issues within the articulation, but in general, it's just a solid articulation. So with that, let's get to the cons of this figure. So as you can already imagine, I have two cons, one a nitpick and one a big flaw. The nitpick is, uh, or excuse me, the big flaw is, uh, is that just like I said, a lot of the articulation is solid, but in other areas, it's not solid, it's just stiff. Um, and if it was all stiff, it wouldn't even be a solid articulation. The articulation would be a con. But uh, when I say solid, I mean in the waist area. I did say you could do some cool shots of that, but only with minor movement. It's really hard to move this thing. Um, uh, and of course, I'm not actually a big fan of having waist movements on figures because if you move it too much to the side, it looks like the spikes are disconnected. But this should be a little bit more articulated in my opinion. It's just, it, it isn't for me. Uh, the tail as well. Uh, it's it's not that stiff, but I guess towards the end it is sort of stiff. Uh, but of course, when it actually where the tail starts, that's uh, that's that's where the real fun starts. Another thing is the legs. The legs usually go out full extended, and they do. But in areas like this, where the foot stands, in my opinion, like where the knee is, uh, you can you can't really move that back or forward. You can only move that this way, like like you know, sort of not really side to side, but you can't really move it forward and back. 
Uh, not that you would do it forward, but maybe back would be a cool position, but you can't do that. Same goes for the foot. You know, you might want to kind of have like have it pushed more to the back so it looks like he's about to stomp. But no, it also doesn't really move that well. So I guess the waist and the foot are really our stiff areas, but the rest of it just kind of saves it. Um, and also, of course, you have this bright, which I kind of don't understand, but I'm not going to make it a flaw, that like yellow, yellow tongue. It should kind of be like the same color as the rest of the figure, but it isn't, uh, which to me is, it's okay, but it's a little weird. Um, and of course, the nitpick I had is that some parts of the figure, because it's so red and orange, are see-through. For instance, I have a light facing this figure, of course, for lighting, and if you look in the arms, it kind of looks like it's a little transparent for the joints. You see, like, these black things, and that's for, of course, the joints. But, uh, I wish that wasn't that noticeable if you put it towards the light, because you're gonna need a lot of lighting if you were to ever use this in a stop motion or a fan film, and it's a little transparent towards the arms. Uh, but that's just a nitpick. Um, overall, however, I'm going to rate this figure a 8.7 out of 10. I know that my neck up on the Ape Soul Drape was like an 8.8. .8. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same, in my opinion, but it still is an amazing neck up. I forgot what I rated the Atomic Blast 2019 neck up, but if I rated that higher than this, I'd take that rate back now that I think about it, because this is better, um, and I recommend it more. And I just recommend it in general. But I'm just going to say, since the Target sale went off since January, get ready to find these only for like $60 on eBay. Uh, in which I did actually get mine for like 50 something. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this review. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later, and bye-bye.